So the title of this project incredible, incredible. is Rap History and Me. My name is Philip Holtz. Let's go. My name is Philip Holtz. Some people go and call me filet. Feel like a rapper by night. And I go for a student by day. I'm from Ohio, a little town called Grand Rapids. I'm taking this class for my minor, cause I had to have it. And then I love playing sports, like basketball is my thing. And those 76ers are one of my favorite teams. I love the NFL, and those sad Detroit Lions keep saying that they'll be better, but they just keep on lying. And one of my favorite things would have to be rapper hip hop. It's so addicting, cause once I started, I couldn't stop the feeling of a good rhyme. And then it coming straight to my mind, and I put it on paper, right, right in the nick of time. This is how I speak my mind, so it doesn't feel like a cell. Show you what I can do on the mic, do my best as you can tell. It just sets me apart, keep my mind so strong. And if it does what I love, then I'm not doing any wrong. Now the history of rap, it goes a little back. Keep your hands on the wheel, so you can keep track. It all started all the way in the 70s. Some rapped about the cars of cash and others made it heavenly. It was during that time when block parties started jumping and thumping. And they would never stop if the DJ was still spinning something. Next up, the 80s, bringing those drum kits. And they could take a normal beat and then just turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. So sick. The 90s were a trip. The names were getting big. East and West thought they were the best Gotta find out who really is Got Jay-Z and Snoop Dogg You got Tupac and Biggie And then you got Nas Like which one of those will you be picking? Like New Millennium It went and left the dent You got Nelly Eminem And then you got 50 Cent Got Busta Rhymes And you know that he's bringing the speed And he's rapping so fast that he might never lose a lead Some rappers have that dirty language But I keep mine clean some say they got fat pockets, but I just keep mine lean. Hip hop was given four elements, and one was graffiti. The other three were DJing, break dancing, and MCing. Politicians were never big fans. They would just blame the rap every chance that they can. Some talk about the guns, others talk about the drugs. But there were some rappers out there that just went and stuck to love. Like, some of them didn't, some just did great women. It is just sample of rappers that makes them all look like villains. But to be fair, not all of them are. About to cut this rap short before I take it too far.